In 1972, when I had this dream for finance, I walked into the boardroom and I said to the board um, that I want to try listing foreign currency futures. Foreign currency futures, they said to me, wait a minute, that's finance. Yeah, I said, you got that right. Wait a minute, finance, that's for New York. That's Wall Street. Besides, that's not in futures. Futures, you know, are agriculture. Well, you know, you've got to understand, I was 30 years old, and the other 11 were 130 years old. <laughs> so well, at least, you know, that's what you think when you're 30. They were probably as old as I am today, so it's not so bad. But that's what it looked like to me then. And I had a rough battle. I had a rough battle to convince these guys to give it a try. I thought I needed a credential. You know, I was a lawyer. And forgive me, but lawyers don't know that much. Economists, on the other hand, they know a lot, certainly about markets. So I thought, who could I get, who could I get to, to prove to this group of 11, I needed at least, if you count it right, seven votes would do it. So I needed seven votes. How do I do that? Well, down the street, not far from here, is a place called the University of Chicago. Anybody hear of that school? Yeah, some of you even went there. Well, I knew a guy, I didn't know him, but I knew of him. His name was Milton Friedman, the Nobel laureate in economics. He wasn't yet a Nobel laureate. He didn't get that till a little bit later. This was the guy who had written about the fact that Bretton Woods, which was a fixed exchange rate system in the world at that time, fixed exchange rates, that meant that the finance ministers of all the world would get together once a year and decide what the dollar is worth versus the yen, the British pound, the Deutschmark, the franc, and so forth. And then that decision would, would be the way in which business was conducted. So many yen to the dollar, so many Deutschmark to the dollar, so many lira, and so forth for a whole year till they met again. Well, Milton Friedman said that that isn't possible in a modern world where information flows not by the week, but by the minute. And everybody knows the changes in value because somebody did something in, in Japan, let's say, or something happened in Great Britain that changes the value. I understood that. And that the fixed exchange rate system would come apart. Well, if so, I thought, they would need a futures market to manage that change in value. And so I went and, I, and called up Milton Friedman, introduced myself. He knew, he knew of me. I said, I want to ask you a question. And we agreed he was leaving for a vacation. He would be in uh, New York and we would meet. And I said to him, please, one thing, don't laugh of what I'm going to ask you. And he said to me, guaranteed, I won't laugh. What is your question? I said, I have this idea for a futures market in foreign exchange. And I want to know if you think that's ridiculous or you think it could work. He said, it's a wonderful idea. You must do it. I said, wait a minute, wait a minute. What did you say? He said, it's a wonderful idea. You must do it. I said, you don't maybe understand. It's not agriculture. He says, I know what foreign currency is. I understand, but people believe that futures are just for, for agriculture. He says, I don't know why not. It should work the same way. I said, well, no one's going to believe that you said that. Well, just tell him, he said. Just tell him I said that. I said, no, 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 you don't understand. I'm dealing with people 
who will not believe me. You got to put it in writing. Oh, he said, you want me to write a feasibility study? I didn't know what a feasibility study was, but I said, yes. <laughs> he said to me, and this is the funny part, he says, well, I understand now why you're here, um, but a feasibility study, you know, um, it's a lot of work. I'm a capitalist. I said, how much? He said, $7,500. I said, deal. For 7,500, the Merck today is worth somewhere in the neighborhood 20 to 22 billion. $7,500 was the basis of that trade. That's a pretty good trade, I gotta tell you. So he wrote the paper, and I used that paper to go around literally the world, waving my hand with that paper. And that's how the IMM was born, and that's the reason that I could go to Mayor Daly, and that's why we moved the center of gravity to Chicago on finance. Thank you, John. <laughs>